Hello, and welcome to my very first YouTube video. I am Lyra Loran, and this video consists of me starting an Agrarian Skies FTB map. So, as you see, I have downloaded the launcher and it is ready to go. Let's begin. I've been playing FTB for a few years now, and I'm pretty familiar with it. If you don't know, Agrarian Skies has over 100 mods. As it starts up, I will tell you my plans for my career. I would be playing a few different games, such as Cube World, Medieval 2, Portal 2, Minecraft, Server Minecraft, Modded Minecraft, and I think a few other games. Ah, here it is. 1.6.4. It was very easy to download the launcher. All I did was went to the website and clicked download. It is the easiest launcher I have ever set up. So as this starts up, here we go. Single player. Um, there is the Sweet Home Tea and the Platform Tea, and the Sweet Home Tea appears you in this little house, and it has a little platform, and I don't really personally like it. I like the platform, it's just simpler, and that sometimes pops up, it doesn't really matter. So I continue loading, and we start it up. And here we are. So, as I see this platform, there is large black bricks. Uh, it says everything up here. Large black black stone bricks all the way around it. I have a little 2x3 pa patch of dirt, 6 total. Some glowstone bricks, some obsidian bricks, and a bit of water. There's a strong box in the middle. And in this box, I have three saplings, three stacks of bone meal, eight flint, and a few books to tell me how to do things, and a hopper. So this is the book that I will be using most of all. It's called a quest book. And I don't know what this is doing in my inventory. Uh, I don't ver very often use any of these other books, except for these. I use these some. Um... But as I open this, it will tell me why I am here. So get ready for it. Oh, I guess it doesn't read it. I'll read it to you. It's been a horrible ten years. Code wizards meddled in the balance of nature and released hordes of monsters from other dimensions on an unsuspecting world. Not satisfied with just destroying the human life, the monsters rampaged across the world, eating everything they could and find they could find and nothing in their leaving nothing in their wake but empty void the great mage trio dusk vswe and scott approached you with an offer they had just enough power to protect your home and a small amount of land from the final devastation in return for their protection you agreed to collect the materials and resources the creators would need to remake the world once the hordes retreated back to the hell realms the great trio cast their spell to protect you while the magician way of flowing time forced the evil armies into submission and ordered them back into their dimensions. Upon waking up, you find that the creators, the jaded one the, and the cute one, had left a small amount of supplies to get you started. They apologized for not being able to give you more. If you complete the task assigned, you will receive more rewards to help you in your mission. It is up to you to recreate the world, to provide a home for the poor, lonely creatures left alone and homeless. This is hilarious. To repopulate the planet. Oh my. To this end, 
the jaded one has compiled a list of the many items and fluids that will be needed. This book will magically update your progress as you complete quests and may at, at times have new quests added if she sees she missed a requirement. To start, punch trees, get wood. Well, that sounds good to me. I like that it says it's magic. It's like, I think that's the only magic thing except for the other mods. So, I start it up, go into Learning Skyblock, and open the quest. I have played this before, and I've gotten pretty far in it, so if I go ahead of myself, I apologize, because I, I'm so used to going into this book. <laughs> so, using the book. This book is a new invention from VSWE, Scott Wares, and Lord Dusk. You may be wondering how to use this book. On the off chance that you have no idea what you are doing, this very small series of quests will give you a few guidelines. First off, whoa, too far. If you right click on any page, you will go back to the previous page menu. If a quest is dark, it is locked and you will need to complete one or more quests to unlock the quest. It's a lot of quests. In the first menu of this book, you will have noticed several numbered sets of quests, some of which are locked. You will have to complete quests found in a different set of unlocked s new set. Okay, I'm going to stop reading this. This is too confusing. Anyway, I need a wooden plank. That is all I need for this quest. So, I will escape out of this, grab a sapling and some bone meal and start it growing. Uh, you don't need this bone meal for anything else than growing trees, so I always use it as much as I want to. I mean, I use like 10, I'd say, bone meal later on to get some clay stuff, but as long as I leave like 32 or 64, then I'm good. So immediately, I make this into oak wood planks and enter it. Oh, it automatically did it. So now I claim reward and I don't have sound turned on, do I? Okay, let me turn sound on really quickly. Options. Nope. So I'm going to turn that up to 50, I'd say. Music up to 50. Okay, there we go. That sounds a lot better. But I didn't get that funny sound. It, it, it does a funny sound when it opens. I'll do it on another quest. So now that I have that, it, I have completed that task, and I can go back out and do the next one. Manual completion. Oh, this is manual completion. So I have to manually submit it. Press that, and it submitted one. I used to have 16, and now I have 15. And then I click claim the reward. There's the sound. I'm going to turn it up a bit. 75. I don't like music. I don't know why I turned that up in the first place, but I'll keep it on. Oh, and if you think this uh, this screen looks really weird, that's because I look have Quake Pro on, and I really like Quake Pro, because if I don't have it, then I, it looks like I'm looking through a funnel or something. And I can see everything in my vision. It's really more fun for me. So, and it, it, it's pretty easy to get to, used to. So you'll get used to it. Anyway, if I go in here and go to my next quest, the QDS, this is a way of turning it in. I'll just summarize these. It's a weight of turning in stuff, and it tells you about the heart. Um, if you right-click the heart, you get an extra life. And if you die by losing all your hunger or losing all of this, then you lose a, uh, a life. And if you lose all of your lives, then you die, and it's game over. So I like these. These are good. So I have to submit it into the hopper. Uh, how do I submit it in the hopper? I forget. Let's 
So I think I just send it through the hopper, don't I? Unless I can just go like this. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you're allowed to do it through the QDUS and with the hopper and stuff. But if I did place the hopper, then I wouldn't be able to give the hopper in this quest. So whatever you do, if you start this map, do not place the hopper. Because, oh, I guess you can dig it with this. Just don't place the hopper. It's a pain because you have to pick it up. So I'll manually submit this and claim my reward. <laughs> I love that music. It's so funny. So I will right click this heart and it will give me another life. So now I have three. I'm going to start this growing and continue on commentating. You will not believe how hard it is to commentate like this. I've like looked everywhere and no one tells you how to do it. Well, they do, but it's just trial and error, I guess. Anyway, continuing on. I have this reward bag that I got. We will be seeing a lot of it because you get it for quite a few of the tasks that you do. And pretty much what you do is you right click it and I got a not so good reward, which is a 1.85 percent chance to get this reward and it's a sound muffler great this is no help to me at all sometimes you get better ones sometimes you don't so for now I will grow a few more of these trees and get started I'm going to look at my quest book to see what's next in the beginning I will need all of these for future. Most of all, the crook. The crook is the most useful in the beginning. So I will make one of those and all of this other stuff to enter. So I think I need one or two of these punching trees. It's funny that I still think it's amusing that even in the, this most modded pack hun over a hundred mods you still have to punch trees in the beginning you don't have to punch trees for very long well actually you do you punch trees for quite a while anyway um i will make a crafting table wow that was a fail and do i need a crafting table no i don't i need a crafting station which is made by putting a crafting table in the crafting window. So I will place this and make the rest. So I think, how do I make this? Isn't it four sticks? Yeah. So I make a part builder and there's also the, I'm just kind of remembering this from before. I don't really. There's the stencil table. I don't really know exactly what it is, so I might have to look it up. So I need a chest, a tool station, an oak barrel, and a crook. I know how to make most of those. I'm going to make the crook next and then get these leaves. So what a crook does is it allows you to get more, more materials from leaves than you normally would. So if I dig these leaves, I might normally get uh, like two saplings, but there's a sapling, and hopefully I get another one. There's a sapling. And also what it adds to is you get more saplings, but you also have a chance of getting a silkworm, which is what I'm hoping for, because that starts me on the production of making dirt with string, and it seems extremely complicated in the beginning, but if you do it, it's really simple. So there's another sample. So it's good to get a crook in the very beginning. <gasps> yes, there's a silkworm. I've, I've played a multiplayer world with this before, and it took me like, I'd say 45 minutes before we got a silkworm. And yes, we were pretty much just 
making saplings and cutting them down and making saplings and cutting them down and making saplings and cutting them down it was not fun so it's good if you get a silkworm very early in your world so I don't need to place these exactly right now so I'm not going to there's the little silkworm it's so funny if you hold him in your hand squirms right there in the corner um, so I'm going to build the rest of these. Wow, voice crack. That was bad. I'm going to build the rest of these items. And there's the chest. And what else did I need? Oh, I needed the barrel. We're going to be using barrels quite a bit in the next time, in the next few... Ah, uh, what do you call it? In the next few episodes. Oh, I built it wrong. There we go. And I'm actually going to build another one of these. Even though I only need one. Because I'm going to need quite a few of them. I'm going to be using them a lot, and I'm going to be using quite a few of them. So start this. I need the tool station. How do I build that? Um, this is too many items, and it is the most helpful thing I will ever use. So all I have to do is type tool station in here and it comes up with this and I click on that and it gives me the recipe so it's a blank pattern over a crafting table and blank patterns don't do much they just they allow you to make patterns and they also allow you to make these tables and stuff so they're helpful in the very beginning so I'll make that blank pattern throw the ca crafting table in there get the tool station and I've got everything so this one is a pick one I can pick the axe of despair or the pan of destiny and these are actually just really stupid names for a wooden axe and a pan and a wooden axe it's it's helpful but it's not really helpful cuz I'm getting a stone axe soon which is way more helpful and the pan of destiny actually will help me cook stuff so I'm gonna use that pan of destiny claim reward nice so I got ten apples a quarter of a heart and a reward bag so I'm going to go to that reward bag and see what I got oh these are actually pretty helpful because they give me I don't know if I'll use them anytime soon, but they are helpful because they give me stuff that I won't easily get normally. I'm going to take this, throw it down here, and usually I'll, I'll just place it here. What the? Why can't I place it? That's really weird. Um, I'm going to eat these apples because one thing you'll notice if you play, the thing you battle most with in the beginning is hunger. And I won't stop battling hunger until I get a nice, pretty big farm going. So I'm going to eat these and be ready for the days to come. I'm going to grow this, though. And I have uh, enough wood now to hold me over. So I'm going to start this silkworm going. And how I do that... I grow a tree and simply right click this in a place where it will touch the most leaves. So it, see it infected the leaf and the progress is... Oh, I haven't seen that progress bar before. So it'll count up with the progress and it'll eventually turn totally white and turn all the leaves around it totally white and this tree will be just totally white. And it'll be nice. So... What next do I need? Let's look in the quest book. Smooth as silk. Oh, I started ahead of myself. String is the gateway to all resources. That is very true in this game. Fishing rods, food, sieves, dirt, gravel, sand, dust, stone, ores, other resources. And yeah, so that's what I'm going to start doing. Pick one of these seeds. 
Wow, my screen just froze. Erg, I hate it when this happens. There we go. Okay. My Minecraft just totally lagged out. Sorry about that. So these seeds, this you can get by sifting, this you can get by sifting, this you can get by sifting. So I'm just going to get these once I get the all f four of these. And to get these, oak sea, fishing rod, wooden hammer, and bed, I need string. Whoa, lag. Okay. So see, it's turned white, and it started infecting these other leaves. So this is 100% done. This is 33, and this is 11. That's awesome that they show you that, because before it was just kind of like you went up and... It said infected leaves, and you just kind of had to guess if it was done or not. But now it tells you. Anyway, I'm going to place this pan. So normally, okay, why can't I place this? I'm guessing that this is a bug, because I've never had this problem before. I don't care. Anyway. I'll put that away for now, and continue on. I'm going to put this chest right next to this crafting station, because if you do, you can put all this stuff in it, and have access to it with the crafting station. So it has a crafting station, and a chest. So that's extremely helpful when I'm building, because then I can just pull stuff over and place it back. So, I will... What do I need to do next? I think I'm just going to be waiting for these. I'm going to build, whip myself together a crook really quickly. So that I'll be ready when this thing turns white. And that's pretty much it. So... I think that's getting near to the end of the episode. I think I have like five minutes left. And then I'll close it up, and this will be the first episode, which I'll be getting string. This is a very boring part of the starting few episodes. You just kind of have to stop and wait. And in the next few episodes, I will skip a few of the stuff or skip some time that I have to take to wait for this thing to grow. And then you guys won't have to watch me wait. But for this first episode, I thought I'd show you how agonizing it is to wait. I still can't believe that I can place this thing. like I'm blocking with it. Weird. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> I don't know if it scared you, but I just shift clicked and clicked. I guess this thing is also a weapon, so when I right click, it's blocking, so you have to shift click to place it. And you saw over here it had this extra handle thing, and I place it right here, so I don't have to have that handle. And then it's just this square. But you right-click it to get into the frying pan, and you put stuff in here to burn, and you, can s you can't you can smelt stuff in here, but it's like cooking. It's like you'd use a real foot frying pan. So you can cook fish in here, or any f sort of food, like silkworms, potatoes anything like that you can put in here to cook all at the same time so it's helpful ah here we go so my tree is almost done so I'm gonna start getting the leaves so I and I forget to tell you the things you get from infested leaves are string of course because when a silkworm goes in and puts out its cocoon and stuff it makes silk or string so you get string from these leaves, and more silkworms. And you get more silkworms from these leaves than you would normally leaves. 
So I can go around here, get s all my string and silkworms. I'm gonna stay away from the leaves that have like less than 100%. And I probably should wait till the whole tree is done, but I am very impatient, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> so I'm just going around and kind of shaving off the, the leaves that are done. See, even string comes very plentiful from leaves like this. From half the tree, I've gotten 12 string and five silkworms. So I'm gonna put these in here just to get ready to cook because I'm gonna be dying later probably from hunger. I almost always die a few times in these games before I actually get like a firm foothold. Go around, harvest the rest of these leaves. Come on, you can do it. Oh, that was a close one. I'm not going to do that again. I probably shouldn't have severed those leaves from the tree because they'll start dying without dropping anything. Yep, there they go. I'm just going to hope that they totally get infested before they die from lack of wood. Ah, here we go. Okay, so there's that. Here's this one. And that one, there's a worm. And that one, there's another worm. This one. And... We'll just wait for that one. So, yeah. I'll fill the rest of this up and start another tree growing. Because I want as many of these trees as I can. I'm going to grow two at a time, though. For this one, because I have plenty of worms and plenty of saplings. Do I have plenty of saplings? No, I don't have plenty of saplings. So for this one, <laughs> I'm just going to get more saplings, because I do not want to run out of saplings. I'm going to get a s surplus of saplings, because when you dig infested leaves, they do not give you saplings. That is something to be wary of. And I have to go make myself another crook. I'm going to make quite a few four, because I'm going to be using a lot of them. If you haven't noticed, they run out quite quickly. Quite quickly. It's a tongue twister. There's a worm. I don't need a worm, but it's still a worm. I'm going to eat him. It's really kind of nasty when you eat worms, because they're like tiny and cooked. Kind of messed up. I'm going to refrain from eating them until I have low hunger because I don't like eating tiny things. Ah, that was a fail. I hate when you are digging something that takes a long time to dig and then you go off of it for a half a second and it resets it. That happens to me a lot when I'm digging wood. I get impatient and I start moving around and then it goes off. <laughs> so I have 11 saplings now. I think that'll be good for now. I'm gonna get some more string. I like them when I, they vary levels. Like you see this one started at this as the bottom level and this one started at this because it creates the most leaves possible like they overlap and then they don't create more leaves but if they are offset like this they create more leaves so now I can take two silkworms put one in here so it touches 
all these leaves and put one over here. You can put just one and it'll go through the entire thing, but you get so many worms from digging the leaves that I'm just gonna put multiple in. Oh, I wasn't watching the time. I think I am out of time. Time, time, time. So, I'll, in the next episode, I will do more with this string, use these barrels, and I will start expanding my platform. So, like, comment, subscribe, and let the games begin.